Show me 1023. You know, precautious, you know. It'd be a lot safer if you did it instead of up on the hill, like maybe firing in a straight public, you know, straight area. You know, like they got a gun range for that. Yeah, but nothing's long enough for me to sight in my rifle. I mean, you saw the size of that. Yeah, so it's right long distance, and people can get hurt. Oh, but I, I checked the area. I mean, there was nobody here, just some coyotes and stuff. All right, sir. Well, uh, I'm gonna. You got your license and your restoration, proof of insurance. Uh, it's it's all in the cab of the truck. All right. If you don't right. mind, just go get that out for me, please, sir. sir. Yeah, we'll do. Going on here, trooper. Well, uh, going down Joshua Road and heard some shots fired and, uh, kept people close to him. And he was sitting and he was up there on the hill, uh, up that way. And he came come down. I thought I asked him to come down from there and he was shooting. He said he was target practicing. And, um, I asked him if he had a, you know, license on that gun and he said no. But it is a pretty good sized gun. Some gun that big, you actually got to have license for. But um, I'm getting this gun. I'm gonna run everything and check it. And if y'all want to run his plate, you know, check that. That'd be pretty good. Sounds good. Enough. And four. Do you want to run his plate? Huh? All right. Who? All right. You asked for my information, right, there, trooper? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. There you go. Uh, the name is uh Harry Thompson. Say that one more time for me, sir. Harry Thompson. Harry Thompson, okay. Alright, now, do you have anything on you that you didn't have? Or in your vehicle? Or in your vehicle. Uh, besides my rifle in the back seat now and the handgun I have on my side. Okay, I need you to hand me that, sir. Alright. Yeah, All I okay want to do is unload it and, uh, set it on the hood of my car and I'm gonna, you know, run your license and make sure everything comes back clean on you. That's not a problem. I understand. Alright, thank you. Sit tight, sir. Ah, uh, yeah, give me one second, officer. What the hell is going on here? Uh, shots fired, and, and this guy doesn't have uh, his right was in uh, right shirt town. Drew Berry, uh, his plate comes out uh. clean. Alright, so which which one was asking for my gun? Uh, I'm using 99 dispatch. I have a. Alright. There's a person that's throwing baseballs at. Uh, that sounds good. Uh, it's a uh, license and make everything come back clean. Spawn. There you are. Breaking room. Sandy fire. Just let you know his uh, yeah, plate came back clean. What's going on? So. What did he say his name was? He's in game. Um. Uh, Harry Thompson. Harry Thompson. Yeah, you did copy that his plate came back clean though. Right. for dispatch let's get a bowl out for a guy on a motorcycle uh looks like a supposed alien uh last seen near the westbound on joshua road uh suspects wanted for uh throwing um baseballs at fire trucks 
Two Bravo 12, be advised, I believe I have your suspect on my 1020 here. 10 4 with the shots fire call? 10 4. Someone just rolled up in a, behind a bush. Yep, I got your suspect. Sorry, my spelling is awful right running. now. I'm gonna get him. Uh, he's running. Uh, 10 4, what direction? Josh, did you see that bike go flying by? Uh, he's still currently on that dirt road. He's going westbound. Yeah, okay. Alright, sir. Um, everything coming back plain and clear. Um, here's your gun. I'll uh, let you put the clip right, in it. Thank you. Um, I'm just gonna let you off with a warning because I'm in a good mood. Just if you go to site something in, go to a flatter area and either that or go to the firing range because that's you know what they're made for. Alright, sounds I'm good. Um, am I getting my I rifle back, or is the other officer keeping that one? I know you just gave me my handgun he back. Just took a right <laughs> onto Marina. Yes. Get right on Marina. Um, take it to a lot Ten four. Uh, I've got him right here in front of twenty four seven. Because it is against uh, force, parks and regulations. Alright, we'll do. I'll make sure I check on that next time. But uh, here's your license and registration proof of insurance. Perfect. Thank you. And uh, like I said, just try to you know try to watch it because like I said, somebody could watch if someone walks out or someone's animal or something. You could accidentally uh, shoot them because sir, accidents do happen. That's what they're called course. accidents. But like I said, course. just you know be careful and you know just. Don't have anymore, sir. I I will find somewhere else to go shooting. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. I was good mood. I mean, it could have escalated quickly, but he was yeah. nice, so I'd let him go. Yeah. To dispatch, I got a 1070 on Mountain View and Chola Springs. What Avenue. in the world are you driving? Can I get uh, additional police for road blockage? Okay. I hate to break your heart, bud, but you can't drive this with state trooper skin. You gotta drive it with highway patrol. Bro, 1250 one North Alberta Drive. Uh, what was that 20 on that fire? Uh, Chola Springs Avenue, Mountain View Road. Good job. To Robert Tool, show 10 8 off that uh, 10 8. Now, you like, you gotta drive HP car. Vent over your mic, so then. One Bravo 28 dispatch. Can I get an additional uh, 23 out here to uh, contain uh, traffic? Good yeah, for what's the 220? Hello, Springs and Mountain View Drive. And for Alpha 24, sir, go to. Sir, sir, can you back up? Sir, sir. To Bravo 2, show 1023. You motherfucker! Sir, sir. What would I put in? H way? What? Hey, officer, if we need uh, someone to stop that car on the other side of the road, he, uh, on the other side of the building, he just basically committed or admitted to uh, arson. Alright, 10 4. Uh, do you remember what he looks like? Uh, I popped it, plaid shirt, jeans. Bravo 20, uh, Can I get a bolo on the uh, individual wearing a plaid shirt? Uh, Last scene, all oh, was nearby the scene of crime. Um, he admitted to the arson. That, that's be back. So we got a. Um, he was wearing a what now? Uh, plaid shirt, red and plaid Possibly shirt. Plaid shirt. Uh, yeah, he's sitting over here in the car right here in front of me. Uh, pull him over. Uh, yeah, he's getting ready to take off. He's running right for you.
He was in that black guy. Uh, was in that black car going right down through there. Yeah, I got over here on Armadillo and uh, McDonald's. Torch, so I'll stay at this 1023 to uh, do traffic. Can I get additional for a code 5? Alpha 24, uh, assist. 88, if I could get you over here for traffic control. Ten four. All right, I'm all right on your command. Bro, dispatch, I want the additional 232 on that uh, fire location at Mountain View Intersection Cross window. Springs to help direct traffic. I want also want to need a 1070 79. Step out of the vehicle with your hands up. I can't put my hands up, so... Walk back to the sound of my voice until you hear me give you the... Until you stop. Keep walking back. Stop. Are you uncovered? Might I ask what I have done? I got none linked to. Can I ask what I did? In a second, sir. Alright, sir, do you have on, anything on you that's going to um, poke me, prick me, sir, me, or are you going to keep going? I have my uh, pocket knife in my front right pocket. Right, and then my wallet in my back pocket. Alright, okay. right, anything else on you, sir? Officer, I'm going to ask you to step away from my vehicle. No, just those two. Can I get that uh, EMS firefighter individual to come to the scene so we can have a positive identification? Alright, he's got some matches in the car. Alright, we'll uh, I'm hand her off to the uh, fire marshal. See when they do an investigation, they can probably match it up. You're called, bud. Can I? All right, sir. Um, right now you're being placed under arrest for uh, arson. Um, you were. Probably... What do you mean arson? I didn't do anything. Well, I actually did get you myself running go, away okay. from the scene. I tried Trust to stop you, but you kept running away. Um, you also fire. To Wait a for arsonists to get out to that official that you did stop start the fire. What's what's the? No, I I didn't say anything about starting a fire. I just said this possibly isn't the last one. I don't know. So, I'm just being optimistic. So you're saying that you started the fire? I didn't start no, <coughs> no, no fire. Hey, hey officers. So what are you smoking matches for? Uh, yes, sir. I, I'm, I smoke cigarettes. What are you talking about? Then how come we didn't I seen that guy set a fire. The guy driving that car? Because I ran out of fire. I have to go get more. Oh, okay, okay. I want you to go ahead and take me. Okay? Alright, just stand by for a second, sir. Uh, can we get that uh, this guy over here stating, he, the guy stating, this guy behind me back here stating, uh, he, he witnessed this guy start a fire. Okay. Alright, sir. Uh, I'm gonna have to take your statement at this time.
So we're going to down everything here on this pen and paper. Uh, is this the guy that uh, you witnessed a uh, certain fire in the back of my cruiser? It's Bravo 12 dispatch, show me 10 8 off that uh, fire scene. Uh, I didn't witness start up, I just witnessed Alright, go ahead and put your contact in information on that as well. Time. So he's the one that actually admitted to you that he started the fire? Yes, yes sir. So. Uh, I didn't admit to nothing to you! You sir, I'm not one. Alright, let me grab uh, some papers so you can write it off of your statement. Alright, thank you sir, we'll get that taken care of for you, okay? Yeah, keep that bastard off the streets, what I have to do it myself. Oh, okay. All right, have a good night, sir. All right, you're going to uh, write, sign your name on this, confirming that uh, you're, he's the one that admitted to you. All right, well, thank you. Um, I'll go ahead and get him booked for arson, and um, were there any other uh, casualties or any injuries in that car? Uh, there was one casualty. Okay, so we can get him for the first one. Um, no slaughter? Uh, yes, sir. Looks like he's going to be ready for that. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and roll on that bat of you. Alright, sir. At this time, you have been positively identified. As the uh, person who started the fire, um, you are going to be placed under arrest for arson and manslaughter. Um, there was nobody in the building! Well, now you're just actually admitting to me that you actually did start the fire. So, uh, you have the right to remain silent. You have the right to return. Anything you say will be used in the court law. And for one, an attorney will be provided for you. Do you understand these rights I just read to you, sir? Sure, but there was absolutely nobody in that building. Alright, sir. At this time, I'm going to take you to the station and you will be booked for arson and first grade manslaughter. Well, let's go!